I said, I'm pregnant. We're going to have a baby. And he looked at me. He says, I don't think so. And I go, what do you mean you don't think so? He says, I don't think that's a very good idea. I mean, we just started this relationship. It's not even been a year and you've got college and we just started the clinic. And I remember looking at him and telling him, the clinic? He says, yeah. He says, you can just have the abortion. And I said, wait a minute. That abortion that they do there are for women who don't want their baby. That is not my case. I want the baby. I don't even remember if we finished dinner or not, but I remember that I left. I went back to my mom's house. I was devastated. My heart was broken. I couldn't believe what I had heard. And I remember that I woke up the next day and I told my mom and she looked at me and she said, honey, I'm here for you, but I think you really need to think about it. And that was almost like putting the lid on the bottle. But I'll tell you what, I remember standing strong and saying, that's okay, I can do it. They'll change their mind. I want the baby. And I remember that that week I wasn't eating, I wasn't sleeping, I was just toiling with this. I'd get up in the morning really strong and feeling like I can do it, I can have this baby. But when the evening came, the phone wasn't ringing. And if it did ring, and if he invited me out, it was, he was going to try to convince me. Whereas I thought I was going to convince him. And either in the morning or that evening, I would plow back to the house, devastated once again. And then I began to think. And it was almost like I had to mentally find a way that would make me feel like I did need to have the abortion. Maybe they were right and I was wrong. And I thought, this baby's not gonna be healthy. I'm not eating, I'm not sleeping, all of my emotions, how could this baby be okay? But I hung in there for another week. And by the second Saturday, my mind was made up. <laughs>